Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new here and today we are back with another speed build. But today we are building in The Sims 3. Um, I decided to build, do a speed build of the house that I'm going to be doing my new Let's Play in. So, <laughs> this is a two bedroom home and it has one bathroom the roofing is so difficult <laughs> sims 3 is so much harder to build in than in sims 4 like it's just it's so different it's so different but look the cool thing about the sims 3 is that we have this collar wheel that lets you change and modify things to your liking, which you will be seeing me use a lot in this build. And what's crazy is that you'd think because I can turn the disgusting furniture that I'd never use into beautiful furniture that I would use, that it would take me so much longer to build than in The Sims 4. But it didn't. It took me a shorter amount of time to build this home than it would to build it in The Sims 4. Like, what? That is insane. I don't even know how. I mean, maybe it might be because, like, I couldn't clutter things like I usually can on The Sims 4. Not without installing some kind of mod, which I don't do in The Sims 3, no CC or mods, because I tried that, broke my game, <laughs> had to do a deep clean, because files got corrupted. It was not a good day. <laughs> but I learned my lesson. No more downloading things <laughs> for the game. Oh, this long pause right here. I, um... I was searching up how to get things off of the snapping thing. I forgot about this when I was editing, so oopsie. But I think I do do it again, and I actually find it this time. So that will be later on in the video, because now I remember that. <laughs> the only part that I cut out of this was the me saving. I saved in the middle in case if... You know, it crashed. I personally have never had my game crash on me. So, I did have a weird glitch to where I asked this dude out on a date and he showed up. And apparently I was talking to him, but I couldn't see him. And his text bubble was like in the ground. It's like, um, dude, are you okay? <laughs> are, are you under the ground? Or are you invisible? What is going on here? But yeah, and that was interesting. That was very interesting. But I think, I think for my third time, this is my third time building in The Sims 3, ever. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm actually really proud of this. <laughs> Even though I know, like, people can build better than this. But I think it turned out so great. Okay, I just do. I think I think it turned out so amazing, and I'm so happy with it. I was so excited to. Um, so originally, I was going to do this voiceover on Wednesday and upload this on Thursday, but I'm I'm too excited for this video, and so I <laughs> I am doing it now. <laughs> So, I'm doing it a little bit later than I wanted to because I kind of fell asleep and woke up a bit late, but oh well. <laughs> I love doing speed builds. They're, they're a lot more fun for me to do than my regular like LPs, mainly because I could just sit here and talk to you guys. Like, I, I don't have to talk about anything important or anything I can just do. I could just sit here and talk. And, and it's nice to just sit here and talk to you guys. You know, instead of 
playing the game and like not talking. Well, I mean, I talk, but you, 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 you know what I mean, right? But those are the color schemes that I went for for the house, and I did not do a backyard for the house because I don't know. I didn't see this family doing one because this is like just gonna be like a starter home. I do plan for them to move, so this house is for my generations. Let's play that I'm going to be starting, which I think will be super duper fun for everybody. I just think it'll be fun and interesting. So, I mean, I know I asked you guys on a later speed build that to comment if you guys wanted to see some, and none of you guys have commented. So I'm just taking it upon myself to just do it and hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> the rocks, I, I gotta tell you, I did miss the rock selection from The Sims 4 when I was building this. I missed it so much. This is sad, okay? The rock selection in Sims 3 is just sad. So sad. But, I don't know. It, it's fine. I, I managed, I managed to make do with this. So, it's just, uh, it hurts me though. <laughs> it's just so sad. Because I like doing the rock beds now, where you have like rocks outlining the outside of the house. I've seen so many pictures of people who have that, and it's like, oh my god, that is so pretty. And so like, I'm obsessed with it, and now that I know how to do it in like The Sims 4, I've been doing it like everywhere. So... It's just, yeah. <laughs> just like, okay. I'm going to do it in The Sims 3 too. But I'm still sad about the rock selection that we had. It is, it is depressing. It is so sad. But yeah, I'm just going around with some terrain paint. I, I had to keep telling myself while building this. Remember to do wallpaper because the night before I built a house Similar to this one, but not exactly it had it, it was a lot smaller than this one and it, it had more rooms in it. It had like I don't know three rooms. Maybe it had space for I think triplets But with them like grown up so two of them shared a room, one of them got their own room, and then the parents had a room. So I forgot to do wallpaper when I was building that house. And it's so funny because I was so proud of that. I was like, I built a house and it actually looks good. Yay! And then I was going to bed and this was like after I turned off the game and stuff. And it's like, I forgot to do wallpaper. <laughs> I was building for... Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I want to say close to like two hours, it's like, and I forgot the most common thing ever, like the most important thing ever, wallpaper, and I forgot it because the walls are gray on the inside, so instead of like The Sims 4, you'll have that, that weird like drywall looking stuff, but here it's just like gray walls, and it's like, I don't know. For some reason, I, I must have thought that I picked out gray wallpaper and used it everywhere. I don't, I don't know why, but I completely forgot to do wallpaper in that house. So I was like, I have to remember the wallpaper in this house. I have to remember the wallpaper in this house. I am recording this. You know how, how embarrassing it will be if I forget wallpaper. So I do put wallpaper in the end, so, <laughs> because I remember to do it at the end, <laughs> but, but at least I put wallpaper in there, okay? At least I put wallpaper in there. I have also figured out that these lights, the lights that I used, give off like the best amount of light. I don't know why, it just 
does. I had a trouble picking out the color scheme for the countertops. I wanted to change them because I didn't want like I wanted this house to be light and and bright and happy and not dark colors, dark wood tones and gloomy. So I was trying to fix the countertops that I wanted to use. <laughs> trying to fix them badly. Very badly. Sorry. Um, I just ended up going with this. Which is a bit dark. <laughs> Don't give me- I think I change it. I could have sworn I changed it to something else, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I did go for dark. I know I did change the stove. The white and black. To kind of match the, um, thing. And I really wanted to use that sink, but it wouldn't give me, like, the sink opening. And I'm like, why? Why is this a thing? Why aren't you doing this? So I just went with that basic old yuck sink. <laughs> I really did miss being able to clutter the countertops. I missed it so much. And I miss how close you could put things. That's like one of the things that I really missed from the Sims 4. I'm like, I can't clutter. I'm so sad. Because if you guys know me, then you lo you know that I love to clutter. And this was the best that I could do. This, this was the best cluttering that I could do. That was as cluttered as I could do. <laughs> and it's depressing. But, um, yeah. So I didn't really get to clutter a lot of things, which is probably why this did take a short amount of time to build. I did try though. I really did. Like I even tried moving the countertops and having BB move up, well not BB, but move objects enabled on. And it's like, it's not working. <laughs> so I had a little, I was a little sad about that, but it's fine. If the house still turned out great, even without a whole bunch of clutter. There is a lot of plants, though. I had a hard time figuring out what to put in this space. And I ended up just putting a plant in the corner. Because I didn't know what to put in that space. So, I just stuck a plant and a picture. And not even on the wall that I wanted to cover, either. <laughs> so. Was interesting, to say the least. I am still, like, super, duper happy with this build, though. With how it, it turned out. Because, um, I don't know. I'm just proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. Like, I know, like, people can build, like better and they have like I watch speed builds all the time but I was so proud of this it was so 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 proud of this and I don't know <laughs> I just I think that's I think I'm biased because I don't know because I think it looks good, because I built it, and I'm just proud of myself. But probably while I'm playing the game, I'll be like, oh. Like, while I'm playing and recording my the Generations Let's Play, I'll be like, um, this house looky sucks. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Practice makes perfect. I just gotta keep practicing. And soon, the Sims 3 builds will be as good as the Sims 4. And eventually, my Sims 4 builds will be better than they are. Although, I'm going to be biased again. I think they're top-notch already. My Sims 4 builds? Mm, chef's kiss. <laughs> this one? Still a bit biased. I think this one's chef's kiss, too. Like, I'm sorry. I'm really happy about this. 
I know I haven't talked about anything hardly about the build and I'm just rambling, but again, that's what speed builds are for. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and just ramble and talk to you guys. Oh, it froze. Okay, there it goes. Hopefully it's a-okay. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things that I had to change around, and the color wheel thingy can become, can make the game become a little bit laggy. So, that was difficult to try and deal with. And I know I said I wanted light colors, but then somehow I got this brown. I can't remember where I got it from. I don't know. But yeah, I had to move the plants because they were kind of clipping into the, the wall, the space. I like the parents' room, okay? I like this room so much. And I went with a color that I never really go with. I mean... I don't really go with green. And here you I am pausing to search up that um thing. I think I found it. Yeah, you can see me typing it in. I found it. <laughs> but um I don't normally go with green, but I went with green. Okay? Green. I mean I have a lot of green in my room, but it's not the kind of green that I went with in this room. It's a very light green, and in this room, the parents' room, I went with a bit of a dark green that I do not ever use. Um, I also, I think there are accent walls. I built this a couple days ago, so I'm not too keen on exactly what is in this house and what is not. Um, but I think I put accent walls of brick everywhere but the baby's room. I mean, I should know this because I'm the one who took the screenshots. So, but yeah, I was trying so hard to clutter up this thing, but that was the best that I could do. <laughs> and it made me sad. It did. It, it made me really sad. But I tried... You know, that's what matters, is I tried so hard to clutter everything. I, I, I'm, I'm someone who has to have their clutter. I am also sorry if my voice sounds a bit cracky or anything. From how, you know, my other videos sound. My, my throat's a bit sore, and for some reason it's being very strange right now, and I don't know why. Like, I can feel it straining itself just to talk, and I, I have no idea why, because I've just been sleeping all day today. <laughs> after I did school, after I did school, because school is most important, but, you know, I've, I've just been sleeping all day, so I want to apologize for the voice cracks that is in this um, voiceover and for just all the rambling. But this, this is what you get when you, <laughs> when you watch a speed build, or at least one of mine. Because again, I don't really know how to how to voice my my thinking process, and and I I pretty much voiced it as much as I could already, anyways. So yeah, I did try to go for those three rugs. I was trying so hard to keep them because I wanted to use them because I thought they looked pretty overlapping. I don't know why I didn't just overlap my own rugs, but I didn't. I just decided to use a rug. <laughs> One rug, but I did change the color. I'm just going around changing colors of everything. My, my process is just lay down everything, change a few colors here and there, wait till the end and change everything. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much... That's pretty much how I've, I've done it. Because, I don't know, I think it takes a lot less time <laughs> than sitting there and changing everything when you're putting it down. Because what if you don't like something and then you want to delete it? And then you find something else and then you want to change the color of that. It's like, okay, just pick the item that you want to use and then change the color of that later. When you know what you want and you know what you like. 
I am just going to be putting around um, paintings now. I was trying to find one that wouldn't be lopsided, but that one's a little lopsided and it, it irks me because it's not exactly centered above the TV. Oh my god, the baby's room. Okay, so I really like the baby's room. Like, I love doing toddler rooms, nurseries, more, more so in The Sims 3 than in The Sims 4 because toddlers sleep in their cribs and so I can just do a nursery and have a really cute nursery and keep it for longer than three days. So I love doing nurseries. It's, I don't know, I just, I like it. Okay. And ever since like rocking chairs for The Sims 4, ever since I got Nifty Knitting, I've been doing nurseries like with rocking chairs. So I did a rocking chair in this one because I like the way it looks. Oh my God. I kept pushing the wrong thing. On my keyboard I kept pushing the Windows home button I also forgot that I did that so I am so sorry if that was in here but it was in here for like one frame second so it, it doesn't really I, I don't really care about it um, but yeah so the nursery is just so cute and I made it pink <laughs> I don't know it was just I thought it was a adorable and obviously you know this is a nursery for a girl um i already know what i'm doing for my generations generations let's play so like i i know how many sims i'm going to start out with and everything and i'm just going to be starting out with a mother and a child so single mom life woo <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't know. I thought the nursery just turned out so good, and I'm so happy with it. Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really happy with it. The bathroom's a weird shape. I will admit that. Okay? I will admit that. The bathroom's a weird shape. But, but, it fits everything that your sim needs. Okay? Including a plant in the corner, I think. Including a plant in the corner. Everybody knows you need a plant in the corner. And, you know, a towel rack above the um, the toilet. I mean, that's... Everybody needs that. How are you going to dry your hands when you um, get out of the shower? Who knows at this point? <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just putting in some paintings. I don't think I put anything on, on that wall. I think I decided to just leave it. Or I put the plant. And then I put the plant twice on this one. Probably could have done without that, but it's okay. And now, see, I told you I remembered to do the wallpaper. I remembered to do the wallpaper. And <laughs> this is the big thing. <laughs> okay, considering I keep forgetting to do the wallpaper with Sims 3 builds. I don't know why. Also, I was trying to get a pretty yellow in this room. So, I was struggling for a bit. <laughs> Just struggling for a long bit. And then I forgot that I didn't do the rug, so I was going back to do the rug. And now I'm doing the baby's room. See, I went with the light pink. I thought it looked pretty. And now this. <laughs> I... I was going... I, I forgot which swatch. It was the one with the leaves. And then I just brightened everything up a little bit, but I kept it dark, you know? And then I just, I used it as an accent wall behind the bed. And then I put brick in other places for, like, accent walls because I thought it was pretty. So we are coming down to the end of this speed build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any suggestions or want, like, any ideas of what you want me to build next, just leave them in the comments down below, and I will do it. Also, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notifications every time I upload a video. That way, you never miss out on a speed build or on one of my LPs, because my recording schedule is all messed up, as you guys know, because I can't stick to a schedule. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.
Thanks, guys. Had a wonderful day.